program to read a data from switch which is connected at port terminal P1.3 and send the output on the LED connected at port P1.0. So we will write a program such that when switch is pressed by user, this LED will glow for few seconds and then it will turn off. So whenever user presses the switch, LED will glow for few seconds. So first thing while writing a program is you have we have to include this msp430.h file and then we'll write a program in main. So this instruction is required for each and every program that is to turn watchdog timer off or disable watchdog timer. Now first we will select the direction of port terminal. So P1.3 we are using as an input terminal and P1.0 we are using as an output terminal. So for that we have to initialize P1 DIR register to set a direction of this port terminal. We don't want to disturb direction of other port terminal. So we will initialize this with 0x01. So 1 for this P1.0 because we are using it as an output terminal and this we are using as an input. So for this pin we will store 0. So this instruction will use P1.3 as an input port pin and P1.0 as an output port pin. So for P1.0 and P1.3 for any register this bit is P1.0 then P1.1, P1.2 and here P1.3. So this bit is set to 1 for this direction register and this bit is 0. The next is since we are using input terminal p1.3 so we have to enable pull up and pull down register configuration so for that we have to use p1 ren register and that will initialize with 0x08 that means we are using pull up pull down configuration for p1.3 so to enable this configuration this bit of ren register should be 1 so if we convert this data all other are in don't care condition or 0 so to <coughs> send this data on this port we have to convert in, it into hex and that will be 0 8 so 0 8 will store in this register that is pull up down configuration is enabled for pin p1.3 so immediately after that we have to select either pull up or pull down configuration for p1.3 so here we will select pull up configuration so when switch is not pressed by user p1.3 will be connected to vcc and when switch is pressed by the user it will be connected to ground through this switch so for that we have to initialize p1 out register will not change the status of other bits and it should be initialized with 0x08 so again at this position we are storing 1 in p1 out register that means we are selecting pull up configuration for p1.3 then initially we have to keep this led off so for that at this pin p1.0 will send logic 0 so for that we have to send 0x00 that means here we will send 0 on p1 dot out so this is to turn this led off initially now we'll write a program in while one loop so 
because continuously we want to check status of port pin so in while one loop we'll write a program so we'll initialize variables here so holatile variable will initialize one is switch to store the switch position and other is variable i which will use for generating a delay so first to read status of port pin and store its status in variable switch we'll write instruction switch is equal to p1 in so p1 in res register will read a data from port pin and this will end with 0x08 so what we are doing suppose this is p1.0 p1.1 p1.2 p1.3 and other bits we want to read status of this port pin whether it is 1 or 0 if it is 1 that means switch is not pressed by user open and if it is 0 then switch is closed by user or pressed by user so we have to check status of this pin for that we'll use and operation so we'll and uh, this data which will be available in p1 in register so in p1 resist in register we'll get data from this port and we want to check status of this pin so result should be whatever value of p1.3 that should be appear here and all other bits we want to make as zero so for that we'll and this data with 0000 here 1 and all other bits are zero so p1.3 will remain as it is if it is zero that means key is pressed by user the whole this number will be equal to zero so we'll and this with 08 and we'll check if switch that means this and operation data is equal to 0 or not if it is equal to 0 that means switch is pressed by user and now we can turn this led on so to turn led on p1 out will be equal to 0x01 so it will turn led on here it is off we want to turn this led on for few second so we'll use a for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than or equal to some delay i plus plus and we'll close this for loop after that we want to turn led off so we'll send p out is equal to 0 0 